Hey guys, welcome back to New Egg TV and our continued coverage of CES 2014. I'm Steve and next to me I have Gary from XYZ Printing. How are you doing today? Good, thank you. Hi Steve, how are you? I'm very well, thank you very much. So I noticed you have several different uh, 3D printers here uh, in the market as well as just here in the booth. I want to start with the, uh, this particular model. Which model am I looking at here? This is the DaVinci 1.0 from XYZ Printing. DaVinci 1.0 mm -hmm. from XYZ Printing. So I noticed this one's a, a little different than some of the other uh, 3D printers we've seen. This has kind of a, an encasing all the way around it. What's That's the right. purpose of that? That's right. I think actually when we talk about consumer level of uh, 3D printing, we really concerned about the uh, user's uh, safety. So oh. safety design okay. uh, is one of the key part of uh, DaVinci 1.0. So in terms of uh, safety, if, as you can see, all the internal, in, entire printing operation is within the closure. Right. So uh, and on the other hand, see if you, if you notice, once I open the top door, you see the top door open. So that means actually it's a sensor. Sensor is uh, reading it, letting yes. you know that that's open, yeah. or maybe a jar. Uh, right now we are in the demo mode, so it does not give you the bus. Okay. And what, but in a typical case, once you open the door, it gives you a bus. Also, when you open the front door, it's supposed to give you a bus. Okay. So because we don't recommend user to open the door while it's printing, because there are few heating elements inside the printing operation. Yeah, so printing head itself yeah, specifically, the right? The, the print head itself and the print bed itself is really hard. Mm. Sometimes it might burn your hand. Okay. So you don't want to do that. So that's why, for safety concern, okay. we put entire printing operation within a closure. What's, what else is another key feature of this particular model? Okay, so 3D printing, most of the product on the market now, I will say still a little bit of engineering and it involves lots of assembly and complicated setup. Okay. But our uh, DaVinci 1.0, what we are trying to do is uh, almost plug and play. So oh, okay. how you do a 2D printers, when you buy an inkjet printers, right. you buy the printers, you hook up the uh, USB cable with your computers, you install the drivers and then put a cartridge in and you can print. And that's it. So, but that's not really the case for 3D printing right now. Right. So what we are trying to do is, okay, for the users, pull a U USB cable, pull a cartridge in, so just plug it in, and then install a driver, open a software, get a 3D file in, press print. Okay. Nothing different for a 3D printer. Okay. Yeah. So basically you're trying to make it as easy as possible for you guys at home to use by giving you very easy to install software, That's and right. essentially very easy to use software, That's right. and an easy setup similar to a 2D printer that we're all used to using today. You're right. That's the essential goal to the 1.0. So let's go take a look at the next few models that you have yep. over here. Okay, Gary, so we've moved over to the DaVinci 2.0 now? That's right, 2.0. So on top of the 1.0 features, okay. uh, the major difference of 2.0 is uh, twin heads. So that means you can print dual colors. Cool, yeah. So basically you can have two different colors, just buy the different filament for each one, That's and those right. are the two colors so you, can, you, you can fill in two different colors of the filaments, and so you, you can print out, uh, as long as you have a file, you can print out with uh, two, two colors together. Wow, that's pretty cool. So on top of the safety, on top of the uh, software and easy to yep. install software and use, I should say, uh, what are the and there any other difference here with the 2.0 other than dual heads? Yeah, uh, basically there will be uh, just the dual head, the dual colors okay. at the same time. Uh, also later on we were developing a new material called PVA, the supporting material. Oh wow! So, but that will be like an easy removal material for when we print some kind of a uh, different odd shape. So basically if you have a shape, the, 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 the lattice that's used to hold it up, that's the structure right. that's used to hold it, that'll be that's easy right. to remove. Maybe like that's soap right. or something like yeah, that, that's right? right? that's right. Excellent. Like that. All right, yeah. so this is the 2.1 over here? Yep. Okay, let me just back up a little bit, show you guys that. Also, I like to play country music when I do my 3D printing. Please continue, Gary. <laughs> 2.1, on top of a 2.0, the dual head and all the safety features, the 2.1 capable with uh, an advanced user interface. So uh, the five inch touch screen, uh, it does not just the easy user, user interface, but it can also hook up to the internet. It's Wi-Fi capable, so wow. it can access our online website and also our online cloud database uh, contains almost like thousands of uh, uh, 3D models directly from this screen here. So basically we have a touch screen, you guys, where you don't need a computer to get it connected to it. It has a USB port too. I'm not sure if you That's mentioned right. that, it's right? That's a, a USB port. So we, we can, can take it directly from USB port, and you can also directly print from the internet. Right, and you can directly print from the internet using the wireless connection here. That's right. Is there any other new and different software you might be implementing along with that wireless yeah. connectivity? In the meantime, we're also de developing a, a, an a iPad-based uh, APP, so wow. we can maneuver the printer functions through the APP as well. 
Very cool. So basically, I have an application that you can use on your mobile device that you can uh, basically edit and maybe upload different models straight to this device via wireless. That's right. Excellent. Well, Gary, thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank you, Steve. We really appreciate it. Enjoy the show. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you guys so much for watching. Don't, don't forget to stay tuned for more of our CES 2014 coverage. I love country.